Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and in this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with predicate logic, uh, we're going to concentrate on the negation of quantified predicates. Uh, but maybe before we get to this particular question of how to negate a quantified predicate, let's just define what a predicate is again. So let's just recall, uh, recall uh, what a predicate is. Uh, so what we're going to say is we're just going to say let x be an element of some set S, okay? So let x be an element of some set S. Well, then P of x, P of x is defined, is called, is called a predicate, a predicate, okay? Called a predicate. Uh, it's a predicate with respect to, x, to, to S. So it's a predicate with respect, respect to S, okay? If for all, for all x that are in S, uh, we have that P of x, a P of x is a statement, okay, is a statement, okay, and what we mean by it being a statement is that it's either true or false, so what we mean is that P of x is true or false, okay. So, and that's all a predicate is. So it's a statement uh, that is, let's say, it's a statement that has a variable in it, okay? And it's a statement that's true or false, but it's only true or false depending on the value that the variable takes on. And these values that the variables can take on are relative to some domain, and that domain is defined to be a set. So it's a set it's relative to some set of objects, okay? Uh, let's have a look at some examples, okay? So let's say, for example, uh, uh, let's say we have uh, let S equal the set that contains the values 1, 4, 7, 3, and 9 for argument's sake. And let P of X, let's, let, let's say let P of X uh, be the statement uh, that X is even, okay? okay? So X is even. Uh, so depending depending on the on the, this this particular statement is either true or false, okay? Uh, depending on whether whether this particular depending on the value that x takes on. So for example, a p of one, so p of one, it would be now the statement that one is even, okay? Which happens to be false, okay? So that's false, okay? That's not true. A p of four, p of four now is the statement that four is even, and that's true. Four is an even number, it's divisible by two. P of seven, okay, is seven is even. Okay? Uh, and in this particular case here, that's false. And you can see in the last two cases, when X is three, it's false, and when X is nine, it's false. So the important thing about predicate is this, is that it's a statement, okay, but it's a statement that we can only evaluate once we know the value of the variable, and the variable is defined relative to some base set, which is known as the domain associated associated with the with 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 the predicate. Okay? Uh, now we're interested in the negation of quantified predicates, so let's have a look at some examples of quantified predicates. So some examples, examples okay, of quantified quantified predicates. Predicates. Okay, so some examples of quantified predicates, and maybe we have the quantified predicate. We'll write it in English. Yeah. Okay. So let's say the first one I is that for all. Let's say for all uh, n. Okay. Uh, that are members. That are members. Okay. Of S and S is defined here. Okay. Uh, we have. We have that. That n. Is less than is less than two. Okay, so in this particular situation, the predicate is actually this particular statement here that n is less than two. This is the statement. The quantified part of the predicate is this particular statement here is where we're saying for all n that are members of S, n is less than two. So let's have a look at that. Let's write that particular, let's write this as a quantified predicate, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just say let P of N, we're going to let P of N be the statement that N is less than two, okay? Now N is an element of S, okay? So N comes from this particular set here, okay? 
Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to construct the quantified predicate. Okay, so what this is saying is that for all, okay, so 